Hello there everyone, AGB here aka Aurora Guinevere Price, and I thought I'd do a special little video today saying how it's the Oscars tonight. Woo! See for me, like, the Oscars is like the Super Bowl for everyone else. So I get super excited about the Oscars. Um, not too particularly excited about this year, seeing as how I only saw like two movies in theaters last year. And I'm pretty sure none of those are nom no wait, no. Frozen's nominated for a song. That's about it. That's seriously about it. But anyway, so, um, I'm going to be doing my Oscar predictions. And I have here with me right now the 86th Academy Award Oscar thingy, my bobbers. Yes, this is the correct one. Just making sure. Because I almost printed out the wrong one this morning. Alright, so, let me get comfortable. And yes, I actually did put makeup on today, and let me adjust the camera, there we go. Because if some of you may have noticed, I got the new picture, which is from Sarah Sade 95 I think is how you say it, I hope I said it right, because, oh my gosh, she does fantastic work, and uh, yes, so I'm very, very happy, thank you Sarah, thank you, thank you, it's beautiful, so I thought I'd, I'd do the makeup, and yeah, I'm weird, anyway, so. Let's continue. So, we have for Best Picture. Best Picture is American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, Her, Nebraska, Philomena, 12 Years a Slave, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Now, I've seen none of these movies, so I just pretty much have to pick based on what I know. And uh, for the last few years, my family's been doing this. It's kind of like a game. You see whoever gets the most points, and then they get to pick like a place for dinner or something minimal like that. But um, <sighs> what do I think Hollywood would go for? I think it's really between Dallas Buyers Club and 12 Years a Slave, mainly because you've got two giant issues right there with the whole transgender thing in... Uh, uh, Dallas Buyers Club, and then the slavery racial issue with uh, 12 Years a Slave. So, it's going to be a really tight one, because Hollywood loves all that, all the, the social issues and stuff like that. They get really caught up in it, and so I find that most of the movies they pick are usually geared towards that, so Hollywood, I'm going to say, ooh, it is so tight, I don't know. I'm actually going to be adventurous and pick Dallas Buyers Club. Will be my choice. Best Director, David O. Russell, American Hustle. Alfonso Cuaron for Gravity. Alexander Payne for Nebraska. Steve McQueen, 12 Years a Slave. And Martin Scorsese, The Wolf of Wall Street. Mm. Well, Gravity won for Best Director for the Golden Globe. That doesn't necessarily mean that he'll win for the Academy Award. So let's go with, this is going to be another toss. A lot of these are going to be toss-ups because I really don't know. Um, let's see. Ah, it's so, it's so hard. Um, that's what she said. Let's go with gravity. Let's just go with gravity. I don't know. Best actor. Christian Bale for American Hustle, Bruce Stern, Nebraska, Leonardo DiCaprio, The Wolf of Wall Street, Chowidol Ejio 4, I hope I said that right, for 12 Years a Slave, Martin Scorsese, or, whoa, not Martin Scorsese, sorry, I just started reading Best Director, um, Matthew McConaughey for Dallas Buyers Club. I get the feeling it's probably going to be Matthew McConaughey. I don't, I just, get, I get the feeling it's going to be Matthew McConaughey. We're going to go with Matthew McConaughey, yeah. Best Actress, Amy Adams for American Hustle, Kate Blanchett for Blue Jasmine, Sandra Bullock Gravity, Judy Dench Philomena, and Meryl Streep for August Osage County. Meryl Streep gets nominated all the time, but she never wins, and she won, what was it she won for last time? I can't remember what she won for last time. She probably won't win again. Um... Probably between Amy Adams and Kate Blanchett. I'm gonna go with Kate Blanchett. 
most of these I'm just going with my gut because honestly I've, I've not seen any of these movies. I really wanted to see American Hustle, but didn't get the chance, unfortunately. Um, best Supporting Actor, Bakad Abdi, Captain Phillips, Bradley Cooper for American Hustle, Michael Fassbender, 12 Years a Slave, Jonah Hill for The Wolf of Wall Street, Jared Leto, Dallas Buyers Club. Mm. Between Michael Fassbender and Jared Leto. I'm going to go Jared Leto. Just because. Best Supporting Actress, Sally Hawkins for Blue Jasmine, Jennifer Lawrence, American Hustle, Lupita Nyong'o for 12 Years a Slave, Julia Roberts for, o for August Osage County, and June Squibb for Nebraska. I'm going to go Lupita Nyong'o. I really hope I'm saying that name right. I'm honestly super terrible with names. Best Animated Feature Film, The Croods, Despicable Me 2, Ernest and Celestine, Frozen, and The Wind Rises. It's definitely not going to be The Croods, let's be honest here. It's not going to be The Croods. Um, Despicable Me 2 is pretty good. Frozen is... Uh, I think most people know my views on Frozen is good, but it not as good as it could have been. It's, it's kind of... Uh. Where's Elsa? Where was Elsa? But anyway. Um, hmm... Oh, but The Wind Rises is Miyazaki's last film, so why would they not give him an Oscar? <sighs> and I just watched Kiki's Delivery Service last night, and it was so beautiful, and I cried, and it was amazing, and oh, I think I'm just gonna have to go with more of my own opinion, and it should be The Wind Rises. I haven't seen it yet, but I want to so bad. Uh, best foreign film, The Broken Circle Breakdown, Belgium, The Great Beauty, Italy, The Hunt, Denmark, the Missing Picture, Cambodia, and Omar from Palestine. I have not seen any of these, and I do not know what any of them are about. So usually, we just kind of pick whichever one has the best title, or the coolest sounding title, and go with that. Um, I don't know, I like the sound of the great beauty, so let's go with that one. Mainly because the shirt I'm wearing, you can't see it. It's Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, and it says Gothic Beauty on it, which kind of fits with this whole whole getup. I usually don't really dress gothic, but I like the gothic look. It's so cool. Anyway, getting distracted. Best original screenplay. We have American Hustle, Blue Jasmine, Dallas Buyers Club, Her, and Nebraska. I'm going to go with Her. Because it does seem like kind of like a, a different and interesting kind of plot, so I'd go with that one. Best Adapted Screenplay, Before Midnight, Captain Phillips, Philomena, 12 Years a Slave, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Let's go 12 Years a Slave. Best Costume Design, American Hustle, The Grand Master, The Great Gatsby, The Invisible Woman, and 12 Years a Slave. I would probably give that to The Great Gatsby. Uh, best Original Song. Now, my sister and I have been debating on this for the longest time. Because she wants the happy song to win. I'm not as familiar with the happy song, so I kind of want... Uh, Let It Go from Frozen to Win, because out of all the songs, it's the one I know the best. But we got the feeling it's probably going to be the Nelson Mandela song, because face it, it's Hollywood, and Nelson Mandela was a big thing for Hollywood. Well, maybe for Hollywood. I don't know. I don't follow that whole political thing, and I don't do it, but... Um, hmm. And I don't even know what the Moon song is from her, because I've not seen it. So... I'm I'm definitely going to go for the Mandela song. I think the Mandela song's going to win. Uh, best original score, John Williams, The Book Thief, Stephen Price for Gravity, William Butler and Owen Pallet for Her, Alexandre Desplat, Dis I'm sorry, uh, Philomena, Thomas Newman for Saving Mr. Banks. It's John Williams! Come on! How would John Williams not win? I don't know. Let's just go with John Williams. He seems like a cop-out kind of choice. Uh, best documentary, The Act of Killing, Cutie and the Boxer, Dirty Wars, The Square, and 20 Feet from Stardom. Let's go with The Act of Killing. Best documentary, Short, Cave Digger, Facing Fear, Karama Has No Walls, The Lady in Number 6, Music Saved My Life, Prison Terminal, The Last Days of Private Jack Hall. Let's go with Karama Has No Walls. I have no idea what Karama is, but let's go with it. Best Makeup and Hairstyling. 
Dallas Buyers Club, Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa, and The Lone Ranger. Now, I have no idea why the last two are nominated, because, first of all, you have a Jackass film being nominated for an Oscar, which is, like, stupidity right there. And then The Lone Ranger, which pretty much bombed, so I don't even know why you bother giving that an Oscar. But hey, it's Hollywood, and this past year wasn't very good for movies, so I guess they kind of had no other choice. But I'm going to go Dallas Buyers Club on that one. Come on. If something other than Dallas Buyers Club wins for makeup, I'm probably going to be very surprised. I won't say I won't, I'll throw a fit because, you know, it's not really that important in the grand scheme of things, but I'll definitely be surprised. Uh, best Production Design, American Hustle, Gravity, The Great Gatsby, Her, and 12 Years a Slave. Uh, I kind of want to go with American Hustle on that one. Let's go with American Hustle. Best Film Editing. Uh, American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, and 12 Years a Slave. I'm just going to go with Gravity on that one. Best Cinematography, The Grand Master, Gravity, Inside Llewellyn Davis, or L Lewin Davis, sorry. I keep wanting to say Llewellyn Davis. But Lewin Davis and Nebraska and Prisoners. Uh, I'm going to have to go Gravity on that one since they're in space. Best Sound Editing, All is Lost, Captain Phillips, Gravity, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, and Lone Survivor. I'm going to go with The Hobbit. Best Sound Mixing, Captain Phillips, Gravity, The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug, Inside Lewin Davis, and Lone Survivor. Mm -hmm. Gravity. Best Visual Effects, Gravity, The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug, Iron Man 3, The Lone Ranger, and Star Trek Into Darkness. You can tell they were really hard up for choices this year. Because The Lone Ranger and Star Trek Into Darkness are both listed on here. Um, it's going to be between Gravity and The Hobbit. Let's go with Gravity. Best short film, Animated, Feral, Get a Horse, Mr. Hublo, Possessions, Room on the Broom. I'm going to go with Get a Horse. Best short film, live action. Aquel no era yo, that wasn't me. Avant que de tu perdre, just before losing everything. Helium. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to try that one. Do I have to take care of everything is what it's called, but it's like in some other language. I'm not even going to attempt it. Um, and the Vormen problem. Stop it, paper. Um, I'm going to go with the one in French, because I like French. Um, and that's it. Okay, so just a recap of my Oscar choices for this past year is Best Picture, Dallas Buyers Club, Best Director, Alfonso Caron for Gravity, Best, Best Actor, Matthew McConaughey, Dallas Buyers Club, Best Actress, Kate Blanchett for Blue Jasmine, Best Supporting Actor, Jared Leto, Dallas Buyers Club, Best Supporting Actress, Lupita Nyong'o, 12 Years a Slave. Best Animated Feature Film, The Wind Rises. Sorry, my paper's hitting the microphone. A best Foreign Film, is The Great Beauty Italy. Best Original Screenplay, Her. Best Adapted Screenplay, 12 Years a Slave. Best Costume Design, The Great Gatsby. Best Original Song, Ordinary Love from Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom. Best Original Score, John Williams, The Book Thief. Best Documentary, The Act of Killing. Best Documentary Short, Karama Has No Walls. Best Makeup and Hairstyling, Dallas Buyers Club. Best Production Design, American Hustle. Best Film Editing, Gravity. Best Cinematography, Gravity. Uh, the best Sound Editing, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Best Sound Mixing, Gravity. Best Visual Effects, Gravity. Best Short Film Animated, Get a Horse. And Best Short Film Live Action, Avant que tu te perdre. AKA, Just Before Losing Everything. So those are my picks for this year's Oscars, and I guess stay tuned tonight to see if any of them are right, and if you are doing the ballot to yourself, see if your answers are right, and we can totally compare them. So if you want, you can like comment down below and like say what your picks are and your your feelings on the Oscars this year. Who's hosting? It's uh, Ellen DeGeneres and Jimmy Kimmel. I find it very weird that they have two TV show hosts hosting the Oscars for films. 
Who knows? Hollywood's weird. So, thank you everyone for watching. This has been AGPAK Aurora Go Over Price. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Hello there again, it's me. I just wanted to make a very quick special announcement that I forgot to do while I was recording my video. But um, I wanted to say a quick shout out and congratulations to my very good friend Definition who just hit 7,000 subscribers. So thank you everyone. If you have subscribed to him and you're watching this, thank you guys so much for subscribing to him. Um, it's really cool to see that he's getting a lot more attention and that he's getting up there. Woo! Go Definition, you are unstoppable. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!